Hello and welcome to my channel. This video is five indoor preschool activities you can do at home with your little one. Here is the first indoor activity. Pom-pom sorting. This is a really fun, simple, open-ended play activity. You can use pom-poms or other objects such as nature items, duplo, coloured pasta, etc. In this particular activity, we use coloured pom-poms and cups. I provide her with different tweezers to use, working on her pincer grip and fine motor skills. In this video, she chose to sort them by colour, placing the purple pom-pom into the purple stacking cup, etc. You could sort them by size, encouraging an understanding of math, size and capacity, or you could put numbers on pots and ask them to play the right amount of pom-poms into each pot. She just also enjoyed practicing picking up the objects with tweezers and placing them into containers as well. This activity for the early years foundation stage helps with physical development, maths and communication and language development. Second indoor preschooler activity. Ice play. This is a good activity to do in winter when they're learning about ice and snow. Thanks to fridge freezers, you can do this anytime though. So I, I previously froze some ice cubes, emptied them into a plastic tub and let her loose with some paints and brushes. She enjoyed painting each ice cube and making swirly patterns in the tub with the brushes. It's a really great way of doing painting without much mess. You can always do snow painting if you're lucky enough to live where you get snow or you can look and you can also encourage mark making with a watery paint. Another one we have also enjoyed is freezing objects into ice and then breaking them out. You can use play tools to chip away and excavate the ice, turkey bases and warm water to encourage them to melt, or for an extended supervised activity for STEM, pour salt over the ice and watch it melt. These hit the EYFS targets of maths, expressive arts and design and physical development for ice excavation. Third indoor preschooler activity. Bean scooping and pouring. This is probably the most popular activity in our house right now. We are currently using dry kidney beans and lentils and have red, white and green ones, so no need to dye them to make them more eye-catching. I recommend rinsing the beans under cold water and drying them on a tea towel before the little ones play with them just in case they ingest them. We have a variety of spoons, tweezers, scoopers, jars and pots and place the beans and resources in a wooden tray or tough tray and let them play away. Mine love to fill old plastic spice jars and make shakers as well. You could also use coffee beans, pasta, rice etc. For extended play you could use cardboard toilet rolls and pour the beans down them, scales for weighing and measuring and play shops etc. Lots of ways to extend one easy activity and when you finish with the beans simply Simply keep them in a jar for later play. You can hit the EYFS targets of physical development and maths with this activity. Fourth indoor preschooler activity. This is probably one of my favourite activities. It's homemade Play-Doh. I have my own recipe, which is over on my blog. I'll link it in the description block, bo box below. This is a classic, easy indoor activity for preschools and toddlers and then can be adapted in various different ways. In this one, we chose to make Play-Doh birthday cakes. And, and as you can see, we use some silicone cupcake cases. A variety of toppings can be used, such as dried pasta, dried beans, buttons, nature and birthday candles. I also have a Play-Doh recipe with natural dyes on my blog as well, which is fun to make with kids and is great for STEM activities. These will hit the EYFS learning of physical development, expressive arts and design and communication and language. The fifth indoor preschooler activity is... We are really enjoying decorating our tree outside with homemade bird feeders. Their favourite feed at the moment is a Cheerio feeder and this feed is great as it involves little ones practising their threading skills and thus using their fine motor skills. All you need is a pipe cleaner and some Cheerios and simply put a nut, kink or knot in the end of the pipe cleaner and let your little one thread the Cheerios onto the pipe cleaner. We made heart shaped ones for Valentine's Day. I hope you've got some inspiration for doing indoor preschool activities at home. Please do subscribe to my channel for more educational activity videos to do with your children. Thank you for watching.